Okay, so you guys have been asking Nate, how do we animate logos? I've been super excited to talk about this project with you guys. So I had the pleasure of working on this Adidas spec commercial as the motion designer, which was super cool, but also a huge challenge because the commercial literally ends right on this logo, meaning that this animation has to be super dope and super powerful and also super quick because most commercials happen in a short time frame. There's a bunch of people always being like, yo, can we get this shot in? Can we get this in? Or can we get this in? So for this challenge, we actually got to get in the logo and the tagline all within three and a half seconds while making sure it's super powerful and a really dope way to leave an impression on the viewer. I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Okay, so for this project, animating the Adidas logo, I wanna show you guys first a little bit about the client goals of this project, which whenever you're going to be animating a logo, it's important not just to think about making something look cool and flashy, but instead realizing that there is a need for logo animations and that there's a specific place and timing all of your animations are gonna have to live in. So right here, I boiled down about 30 or 40 emails back and forth into just the three main client goals that they had for this project, which is one, making sure that we have a legible, easy to read logo and also a tagline. Number two is making sure that fits within three and a half seconds, which is a pretty short amount of time. Normally five seconds is pretty decent. So that's gonna be a little crunch there. And the third super important aspect of this animation is that is gonna be ending the commercial, which in broadcasting, we call this a bumper. When we're ending on a logo, we wanna make sure that it's impactful, really sticks in the mind, whoever's watching this. So the process for making a logo animation is actually pretty similar to doing just about any design, which is of course first ideating. Before I even hop into touching After Effects, I wanna go ahead and storyboard out what this logo animation is gonna look like. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go into animating. And last, we're gonna just see how it fits in with the commercial. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's hop right into storyboarding this animation. There's a few moments that I noticed that we can do with this logo and tagline. And the first moment, this logo mark right here, it kinda looks like a mountain or three stripes. It is the iconic Adidas logo. So we wanna make sure that we introduce the audience to that image, we hold on it, and then we also bring in the Adidas text, which is a word mark, and make sure that that way it really marries in together those two images. And then lastly, we have the all or nothing. A few considerations with this logo is that I'm noticing that there is a bit of movement already in the design of it. I'm thinking maybe we can animate along these angles of the Adidas stripes. And then another thing I'm noticing is that we have this tagline, which is left justified. So maybe we can even play around with that justification by having the, the letters animate in from the left and then settling into place. This is like a super, super simple ideating phase. We don't have to get super detailed just yet because most of the magic is gonna happen in After Effects anyways. So I think this is looking pretty good. Now that we got that out of the way, let's hop right into After Effects. So right here is actually the commercial and I wanna show you guys a little bit about what the final product is gonna look like. Let me zoom this in for you. So here we have the scene, it cuts, logo animates in. Let's hop right into this title card pre-comp so we can see a little bit what's going on behind the scenes here. So if you notice from the storyboard, the first moment that we wanna have is the logo animating in. Now I know that once I have the stripe grow from the bottom, we're gonna have a feeling like something's growing up. <laughs> Whereas if I started from this top and then kind of angled downwards, it's gonna feel like a, a little bit awkward, almost like we're striking down to it. So I kind of want to play with alternating the motion. So if I have the stripes going up and I can have the Adidas text coming down and that little juxtaposition makes for a really interesting movement and visual contrast and hopefully make each element stand out while still seeming related to each other. So to do this growing out stripes animation, all I did actually was go into this original logo that we have here. Let me turn on the transparency. As you can see, it was just a plain PNG with transparent background. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in. I'm gonna solo this just so we can go ahead and see this. I'm actually gonna copy the same one. That way we get the same size. Okay, so right here we have the Adidas logo. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this mask so we start from, from scratch again. Okay, cool. So we have this framed in the composition. I'm also gonna go up and turn on title and action safe just so I can see that everything is looking nice and clean in the center here. Next thing I'm gonna do is go up to this pen tool, which is gonna let me draw a mask. I'm gonna start at this bottom corner and then I'm gonna go over to the next corner, making sure to be pretty precise because I want this to actually match the same angle once it grows out. If we keep it pretty close to the original, it should look pretty good once it starts to get animated. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna close this off. 
And then next thing I'm gonna do, if we open up this mask panel down here in the timeline, we can see that there's a stopwatch next to mask path. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, but I don't want it to actually start at, it looks like we're 17 seconds in. So let's go ahead and knock this down to 12 frames, which is about half of the frame rate. So this is about half of a second. And then let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and start all the way from the back and let's just drag in these mask points now. So we get this nice and straight line. Okay, cool. So that's looking pretty decent. And now if I just scrub over in the timeline, we get that first element animating on there. I'm also gonna turn this off here. Okay, cool. And you're gonna see that it actually looks super stiff, really robotic, not nice at all. And the reason for that is because we have the very basic default interpolation in between these keyframes. Right now, it's just being linearly interpolated. We kinda wanna add a nice Bezier curve. So I could use a plugin like Motion, which is a plugin that I talked about in the top 10 plugins for After Effects. Or we can also go up to the speed graph editor and make a nice curve right here. I'm just gonna drag these handles down. If ever in doubt what kind of shape to make, I would say that by far this parabola right here tends to be one of the most used uh, speed graph shapes. And it kind of makes things look really nice and poppy. So bam, that boring animation looks 10 times better just with that little adjustment. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna duplicate the same layer and let's go ahead and now change this mask path from being here to over here. So let's go ahead and now do the next stripe. And we're just gonna do the same exact thing that we did earlier. Okay, looking good. Make it nice and tight. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, click on mask path, drag this out to about the 12 frame mark. You guys are seeing too many things right now. You can go ahead and click on the solo. That way you're only seeing which ones you wanna look at in the moment. Looks like we're right here. Let's go ahead and drag this mask path back down. Now, if you notice right there, when I drag the mask, actually the whole mask starts to move instead of just the handle. And a quick fix for that is just to click on mask feather and all of a sudden we get the handles nice and open again. We can drag them in. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. If I play this out, it's gonna look a bit robotic again so let's go ahead and also make the same curve adjustment that we did I'm just gonna go ahead and use the plug-in though that way I'm speeding up time <laughs> okay cool so this is also looking pretty poppy and then we can just do the same exact thing but for this one I'm just gonna copy in the same ones that I had earlier that way you can save time and get on to the next section so right here soloed we have the three stripes animating up from the bottom so that's looking pretty good now you're gonna notice that I actually played around with the timing of the stripe. So actually each of these stripes end at a different time. You can see here on the animation, if I pull out their keyframes by pressing U on the keyboard, you can see that they're actually staggered out so that the left one animates in first, and then the middle one animates second, and the third one animates last. That way we're just kind of following the same pattern of left to right, which most people who are gonna be seeing this uh, commercial, most of them are gonna be reading left to right. Unless they're doing something in Japan, you know, maybe you might wanna play around with the way that you animate your logo. Okay, cool. So now for the next part, let's go ahead and just duplicate the same exact layer. And I'm gonna turn off and delete this max. That way we get the full logo again. And this one's actually gonna be super easy. We're going to drop down the Adidas logo now. So to do that, I wanna mask out just this Adidas and I'm actually getting this little R. So let's go ahead and also cut this one out with the mask tool. Set this one to subtract. Boom, it's gone. All right, so this next thing that I'm gonna do is actually a technique that I talked about in the kinetic type tutorial, which is using matte layers. So I'm just gonna make a quick solid. Instantly, we get a whole black composition and I wanna drag these handles down and just cover up this tiny Adidas portion right here. I'm gonna drag this layer all the way down and then change the Adidas one to alpha matte and boom, right now the Adidas only shows up inside of that black solid. Next thing I'm gonna do is press P on the keyboard and let's go ahead and set a keyframe in the beginning. Let's do it right when the middle one animates on up until when the last one finishes right there. Okay, cool. So the final position is gonna be matching up with that last stripe. Okay, so next I'm gonna make this come down from the top here just by sliding this up and we get this nice motion where the Adidas logo animates up and then the text, the word mark animates down. I'm gonna also drag back in those same speed graph editor handles so we get this nice poppy motion. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. Kinda want this to end a little bit stiffer there. 
There we go. All right, so bam, just like that, we got a pretty sick looking Adidas logo. And the reason why we have all of these set up with a null object is because I want to shift over now this full blocking of the Adidas logo and the word mark so I can fit in this tagline. And to do that, let's just go ahead, right click, create a new null object. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything underneath it to parent to it. Boom. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. And now if I move over this null object, I should be able to control the full animation and it'll still animate on no matter where it is. Okay, cool. So with this null object now, I can actually change the scale and the position of this Adidas logo. So right now I just copied in the same key frames from earlier, but you can see these two are just set to the position going from 960 to 540. And then earlier it goes from 100 to about 50 or 48%. So let's actually drag this null object a little bit over in the timeline. I'm just gonna make it match actually where it was before. So here now we have it settling on the logo, zooms down, slides to the right, and now let's get in this text here. So the text for this tagline is all or nothing. You guys can see here, we have the text reveal in from the left, and it's actually gonna be the same exact method that we did to animate the word mark in from the top down to the bottom. So to do that, all I have to do is if you look over here, we actually have, I'm gonna turn this on, it is a shape layer, and it is just in the size of where this text is gonna live. And then using the position keyframes, we're able to have this slide in from about 366 on the X axis to 900. And since the track mat is set to alpha mat for that shape layer earlier, it's only gonna reveal wherever that rectangle was made earlier. If I set it to no track mat, you're gonna see the text is actually on the entire time. So let me just go ahead and set that back to alpha mat. Next up here, we have this text layer, which is or does the same exact thing, except we have here a staggered timeline. <laughs> Now, one thing you're also going to notice is that these keyframes are not exactly the same. So the starting position for the all in and the or are not exactly the same. And the reason for that is that I wanted them to have different ending velocities. So the all in, you see more of the text before it slows down and the or you actually see a little bit less of it before it slows down, just because we have a little bit less text to read for that moment. And then at the very end, we actually have the nothing coming straight on. It's just a hard cut. There's actually no animations happening on here. That's mainly because we ran out of time. And sometimes you don't have to be super fancy making every single element on an animation move. You can actually get away with doing hard cuts and adding a little bit impact in the end. So let's go ahead and play around with this. I'm gonna go ahead and set this back. So right now the animation is looking pretty good, but to tie this all into the commercial, we wanna actually have it composited on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to our first composition. Let me turn off this title card layer and show you the base footage that we're working with. So we have this scene, the priest opens up a book and it just ends. <laughs> so if I drag in this title card right here and I turn it on. Okay, so this is actually looking pretty good, except the black text on this footage does not look good at all. It's actually pretty difficult to read. So one of the things that I wanna do is invert this footage and I'm gonna just go ahead and type in invert right there. If you guys don't have the FX console plugin installed, you can go ahead to effect channel. Right there, you're gonna see invert, which is just gonna take all of those black pixels and make them white. Now let's go ahead and play out this animation. Dope, that is looking already super sick. Now this moment works really well because at the same moment that we're cutting to black, we actually now initiate this scale down animation. Whenever you guys can play around with making sure that footage and the logo animation have different moments that interact with each other, it makes everything just tie in a whole lot better. So right now this is looking super good. I think we're about at time, but I wanna add in one final touch to this, which is making sure that this all in or nothing moment hits even harder. And to do that, I actually just went ahead and created a new adjustment layer. This is one of my favorite easy tricks to do whenever you have this nice black and white text that I can go ahead and just apply the same invert effect to that adjustment layer and set it to happen right at this time that this nothing comes on. That way it's almost like when nothing comes on the word nothing is black it's the negative space and it actually makes the entire image also affected by inverting it as well so let's go ahead and hit play oh my goodness yo that looks freaking dope <laughs> yo this is super clean 
All right, already I'm pretty proud of how this is looking. I think we hit all of the challenges in making sure that the logo is legible. It impacts pretty good at the end there on the commercial. And the tagline is pretty easy to read Adidas all or nothing. All right, yeah, so <laughs> cool. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys wanna get this project file, make sure that you hit us up on Patreon because that's where we're gonna be posting all the project files for all the tutorials. Oh, and if you guys have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding that notification notification bell that way you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned we got a whole bunch more tutorials coming out oh make sure you guys follow us on instagram at black mixture we, we post daily all kinds of cool stories behind the scenes tips and tricks stuff that did not make it into the youtube channel anyways you guys are the best thanks for watching and it's my birthday month leo season y'all already know what it is let's go i hope y'all are as hyped as i am thanks for watching and as always i hope to catch you on the next one peace